Hello everyone, and welcome to the Hacking Course 101 for White Hat Hacking Discord server. If you haven't yet, I would love if you could check out this amazing Discord server. Its purpose is to share knowledge and resources about information security to everyone. We have a community of people from all skill levels, ranging from beginner, intermediate, expert, even professional level. It's an amazing opportunity to talk to people within your skill level. So you can work together or study together, or even to talk to people above your skill level so you can ask them questions. Let's get into the introduction course for the course. Um, there will be three courses in total in these series. The first course is the Hacking Course 101, which will start immediately. Well, tomorrow. Um, the second course is the Intermediate course. And the third course is the Advanced course. For the basic course, we're going to cover four topics in very basic detail. The first topic is Linux. It's very important that we talk about Linux, we talk about how to uh, work in Linux, how to navigate in Linux. It's important that you get comfortable with Linux systems. Then computer architecture, just the basics, programming, Python, C, and assembly, and then general hacking and penetration testing. Let's get into each of them. For Linux, I'll be covering basic Linux commands, managing your Linux system, just basic stuff, and then some tips and tricks here and there to make your life easier. Computer architecture. We're going to cover binary system, the basic electric circuits, Boolean algebra, components of a computer, how they interact together, how they work, and then some low-level programming later on. Now, I'll be also covering hexadecimal. I forgot to include it here. I apologize. Programming. We're going to start with Python as our first language. I really believe that Python is the best language to start if you are a complete, a complete beginner. The reason being that Python is relatively easy to learn and it doesn't have into, uh, all of the nuances that C language does that might be challenging for people who have no previous knowledge. After Python, I believe that C is the best stepping stone into assembly. And then of course, we'll be learning assembly and we'll be covering um, the more nuanced, the more nuances and intricacies of computer architecture while we learn assembly. I believe that's the best way to consolidate your knowledge and to get some practice in as well. These are the big topics. So hacking. We're going to first cover all of the what is a hacker, the legalities. Then we're going to get just a little bit more comfortable with Linux and maybe some different Linux flavors. Hacking methodologies. We're going to cover the, all of the basic steps, reconnaissance, footprinting, sniffing, social engineering. Although for social engineering, we'll be having a big topic after that. Uh, scanning and enumeration, exploitation, malware development, only the basics here. The malware development, the more advanced stuff we'll be giving into the advanced course and the intermediate courses. Um, special types of attacks, such as distributed denial of service attacks, wireless hacking, web application security, so SQL injections, cross-site scripting, cross-cross-site scripting. Um, this last one isn't really a real term. I made it up. Well, I created it. Dealing with security countermeasures. So dealing with firewalls, IDSs, IPSs, all of that cool stuff that we're going to have to do. And then physical security, because this is about information security. It doesn't necessarily have to be only about computers. Physical security does apply to computers, um, but it also applies to a lot of other areas, such as breaking into safes, breaking into locks, um, avoiding cameras, breaking cameras physically. Um, it's a very big topic in of itself. Um, and we will be covering it. And then some exploit development, really, really basic stuff, right? So don't get, you know, <laughs> your helps up too much for this one. In the intermediate and advanced courses, we will be covering a lot more. And then some cryptography. 
I didn't include it here, but I'm also going to be performing CTFs and giving a lot of homework every step of the way so you can practice the stuff that we learn. Um, I'll be doing CTFs and a bunch of other exercises so that you can see uh, real world examples of, of, um, of attacks. Then we're going into penetration testing, and this is just exploring more of the hacking methodologies that were included here and just putting them in practice in real world scenarios. That, was, that is it for the basic course. The intermediate course has no initial date as of yet, but as soon as I know, I will tell you. The estimated time for the full course is one year, but I'm not sure if I can do that. The reason I'm making these videos and not live streaming is because I am very busy right now. I have a very, very busy schedule and um, I can't even afford to stream. So I'm trying to just create a bunch of videos, a lot of content so that I can keep releasing it um, gradually. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to uh, record all of the videos. I hope I will though. If I am not able to, I apologize. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for um, watching up until here. This terminates um, the introduction course, well, the introduction video for the course. Any questions, just drop a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and join our amazing Discord server down in the description. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Happy hacking.